Welcome to the Unique Mums Podcast. My name is Anna and I'm a wife, mum, author, blogger and Jesus follower, bringing you biblical truth, devotions and encouragement so you can find joy, purpose and hope as you navigate through motherhood, one cold cup of coffee at a time. You can find the episode show notes, the free devotional, and a lot more information at uniquemums.co.uk. Hello, Mum. So today is episode number four in the Resting God devotional series here on the podcast. So I'm going to start straight away with the focus verse for today, which is quite a long verse. Actually, there are um, three verses here. But they're all linked, so yes, I'll read them out to you. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 40 verse 29 to 31 Okay, so this is the truth. We all have bad days. (laughs) And I'm saying this from my own experience, of course, and from my conversations with other people. And so, yes, we all have bad days. Um, Days when we feel discouraged, days when we feel tired, days when we feel frustrated. And I'm going to tell you something that happened to me a few weeks ago. So I was having one of these bad days. I was frustrated because I would created expectations about some things to happen and those expectations were not met. The things that I was expecting were going to happen did not happen. And yes, I, I needed time to rest, but yeah, I was just tired because I'd been pouring a lot of time into my work. And I was discouraged because I couldn't see the fruit of my labour. So the things that I was working for Uh, felt a bit like it was all in vain. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but uh, just that feeling of like working and not seeing like the fruit of that work. So I was frustrated about that as well. And so I was discouraged, I was tired and I was frustrated. That God restored my strength. So I put my hope in him And yeah, I I came to see that sometimes things don't go according to my plans, but God always knows what's best for me. And sometimes I get discouraged because I'm not seeing the fruit of my labor. But in those times, God is testing my obedience. And yeah, the fruit is actually up to him. My part is just to, to be obedient and do what he's asked me to do. And it's just that, so... Uh, I can rest that he will produce the fruit at the right time. And the other thing is that, as I said, I got tired from my work, but um, God also showed me that he was offering me rest. So what I needed to do was let go of control and trust him and trust that his purposes would prevail even when I rested because um, I don't know if this also happens with you, but when I'm working, I'm sometimes I'm working from a position of control of like, I need to do this, I need to do this. And obviously God wants us to be responsible with the things that he's asked us to, asked us to do. And he wants us to be obedient and steward um, our things very well. But God also asks us to rest and to trust in him when we're resting that he doesn't stop working he's still working out his purposes and yeah that he's in control so i don't know if um what your particular situation is what you're going through if you're going through something similar but i hope and pray that you will also find rest in god so even if you're tired and frustrated and discouraged that you will also find this rest in god And I'd also like to encourage you from God's word that when we hope in God, he restores our strength. And yeah, the word says that we will soar on wings like eagles and we'll run and not grow weary and we'll walk and not faint. So that's really encouraging to know that uh, when we put our faith in God, when we hope in him, when we rest in him, there's this promise that he will lift us from our burdens and he'll restore our strength. 
So let me go to the questions for reflection now. So these are two questions for you to think about. The first one is, what recent situations have caused you to feel discouraged, frustrated or tired? So that's the first question and I'm sure you can probably think of <laughs> some situations like that uh, because it's part of of being a human, I guess. <laughs> so especially I think for us as mums, it's um, quite common for us to get at least tired <laughs> and probably frustrated as well. Uh, so that's the first question. So what situations have caused you to feel discouraged, frustrated or tired? And then the second question is, what truths about God do you need to apply to these situations? So I shared with you a few things about uh, God. And yeah, I was just wondering if you could think of some truths about God, about his nature that you can use to apply to these situations and how that's going to help you actually to, to be released from that discouragement and that frustration and that tightness. Okay, so I'm going to pray. Thank you, Father God, for your promise of rest as I put my hope in you. Help me, Lord, to let go of my discouragement, frustration and tiredness as I acknowledge that you're good, holy, sovereign, powerful and loving. Help me remember again and again that you cause all things to work together for the good of those who love you, those who have been called according to your purpose. Amen. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope this devotion uh, blesses your day, as usual. <laughs> it's always the same thing, but it's always true. I say this because it's true. I really do hope that these devotions bless you and that God speaks to you through them, uh, through his word, of course, uh, which he always does. And yeah, I, I really pray you to have a blessed day. And I'd like to encourage you that, um, yeah, if you have time, I have some resources on my website, uniquemums.co.uk. Uh, so I have these devotions actually in written down format. So you can see the prayers and the questions. But I also have other articles related to faith, which you can look up if you have time. And yeah, there are lots of resources on there for you if you would like to check them out. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day and God bless you and your children. And yeah, may he be with you today.